This week is National Nurses Week, and today actually is International International Nurses Day. And nurses do so much more than just bandage our wounds and answer all of our questions and sometimes make the needle not hurt as much. Since 1965, May 12th is the day to honor the many contributions that nurses make for our care and our well-being. The date was chosen, I don't know if you know this, because it's Florence Nightingale's birthday going way back to 1820. She revolutionized care and opened a nursing school in London in 1860. And we've been thanking nurses all day today. That was our social question this morning. We asked you to shout out your favorite nurse. We have a new favorite nurse around here. William Hastings is a nurse with Atrium Health. How you doing? Hey, good, how are you? I'm good, I'm glad to have you here. Um, there's so much that I wanna talk about with you today. So let's kind of get into it. Why did you choose nursing as a profession? Uh, I got family in healthcare. I kind of grew up doing mission trips at, at the church I grew up in, knew mm -hmm. I wanted to help people. I know that's kind of general answer, but uh, nursing is definitely a, a unique way to help people out. Did you, is it what you thought it was going to be but when you made the no. decision to go into it? Yeah. No. <laughs> what, tell me more about that. What, what did you think it was going to be and what is it really? Kind of what you described. Yeah. Just the, the bandaging, giving medications, but there, there's, there's so much more coordination of care, notifying, uh, notifying doctors about patient condition. Nurses spend 12 hours a day with their patients. Doctors sometimes see them two, maybe three times a day. So mm -hmm. they, they do rely on us for, for a lot. How do you, this is, look, this is like, this is what people wanna know. How are you always so nice? and calm and make us feel like we're not weirdos and like I really feel like nurses have this just ability to do to treat people in a way that no one else treats us the way nurses do because uh, we're weird too <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I know in, in the unit that I work in we've had we have a phenomenal team yeah supervisors managers um, We've had a lot of turnover through the years mm -hmm. with the pandemic and kudos to uh, our managerial staff. They've put together a great team. We vent mm -hmm. together sometimes. Sometimes we vent one-on-one -on -one just to kind of keep our head. But I think it's all in all, it's a passion for, mm -hmm. for healing, for, for getting that patient better back to baseline, providing that peace of knowing that things are going to get better. When they are oftentimes in the worst situations of their lives. You work in the ICU at Pineville. So you see people when they are the most scared. What is the, um, the magic dust that you have that really like calms people down in those moments? Is it hard to look at that and say like, here's how I do it? I, from, from what I try and tell some of the new nurses that come through the yeah. ICU is that just let the families and, and the patients, if they're conscious, because sometimes they are sick yeah. as all get out, and they're still awake. But most of the time they are on life support and mm -hmm. sedated is just trying to educate the families. Let them know what we're doing, why we're doing it, what we're looking for, things like that. So just try and educate the families so that they know, hopefully, so have an idea on what's going on. Uh, that uncertainty is the worst, so thank you for saying that. Let's talk about men who are nurses. Um, the percentage of nurses who are men has grown by 59% over the past 10 years, which is amazing. One of my dear friends, her husband is a flight nurse um, in Pennsylvania. Um, I appreciate him for that. Why do you think the number of men going into nursing is growing so much? I have no idea, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think it's great. Um, yeah. we, so we have a few guys, we bro down. You bro down, a um, nurse bro down? Uh, yes, exactly. Um, no, I, I think it's just, the expansion of just kind of knowledge, the internet, we're seeing more, we can see just more of what nursing is, thanks yeah. to that. Yeah. Even though what we see in media isn't always everything that nurses do, but yeah. I think it, it's kind of advertising itself. Is there something that people don't either, don't understand that nurses do, that they should understand that nurses do, or something that people maybe mistake or don't appreciate as much that we can educate people right now today? I'd say, first off, we don't know when the doctor's coming. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know when the doctor Period. is coming? We don't. If we <laughs> did, that would be awesome. We do not. That's so We true. don't have trackers on the doctor. We don't uh -huh. know where they are. Uh -huh. um, but I, I think that there's, and, and I think there's an extreme word, but maybe there's, we take a lot of emotional, I think trauma is the extreme word, but yeah. almost kind of emotional cuts home. Yeah. We do take a lot of things personally in terms of how we perform, because the way we perform is how patients do. Mm. Um, I mean the families and the patients, they're the ones going through it, no doubt. But 
we do try and learn from every situation and get better. Well, we appreciate you and everyone who works with you. Um, if you want to, um, first of all, here's all the information for Atrium Health. We appreciate the folks from Atrium Health, of course. Um, if you want to go back to our social question from this morning, it's still right there on our QC Live Facebook page. We did ask you to shout out a nurse that you adore, and you still certainly can do that. We're always reading those comments. William, thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. Thanks for all of the hard work. I know it's hard work, and I know you guys are working <laughs> long hours. So tell everyone back at Pineville we said hey. Will do. Thank All you. All right. Sounds good. Cheryl, over to you. We appreciate the work he does.